Let's go to the, another question uh, from Twitter. Uh, the question is from Seth. The Illinois congressional delegation has long supported the cleanup of mercury pollution. Are you going to support the new mercury emission standards? Uh, certainly, let me just say that I opposed the Train Act, uh, which would have delayed um, implementation of the EPA's proposed, uh, you know, toxic mercury. Right. And so I think that when we when we look at just generally in terms of the environment, uh, the environment for me I think is uh, something that's very near and dear to my heart. Uh, the first bill that I drafted and, and dropped in Congress was Great Lakes Water Protection. And uh, when we look at that, I think that's absolutely critical. It's the jewel of our ecosystem. 95% of all fresh drinking water in the United States is uh, in the Great Lakes. And I think that we need to uh, go about our environmental policies with um, you know, some extreme caution. So I mean, right. I consider myself a, you know, environmentalist and want to make sure that we're protecting the environment uh, at every turn. It's a pretty hot issue. You know, first of all, we talked about removing nuclear waste from the, the shores of Lake Michigan. I applaud you on your legislation to ban sewage dumping in uh, the Great Lakes, especially uh, uh, Lake Michigan. I was just struck by uh, uh, information that uh, about 20 uh, billion gallons of sewage are, uh, or 20 million gallons of sewage are uh, dumped into the Great Lakes uh, each year. Almost half of that from one city, Detroit, uh, which, by the way, we just uh, saw on the news, uh, may be announcing that it is running out of money soon. Just about everything that Detroit has done has been uh, uh, the wrong thing to do. Uh, and then the, there's a debate in the Congress about uh, enforcement of the Clean Air Act. Uh, we had uh, cross-border uh, regulations so that if uh, one state is emitting and polluting the air of another state, uh, federal courts mandated uh, that EPA put forward other regulations, uh, new regulations, uh, to, uh, to restrict that. And um, we estimate that uh, on the order of between uh, 10 and 20 percent of air pollution in Illinois would be, uh, would be uh, reduced uh, by uh, this uh, regulation. Obviously, eastern states in the United States even more concerned, Pennsylvania, sure. Delaware, uh, the Northeast. Uh, I voted to uh, make sure that those regulations go forward because I think that would be have uh, tremendous health benefits to the United States as well as industries that have already invested in planning uh, on this uh, activity to go forward. So I think there is sensible environmental policy that can go forward on protecting critical ecosystems like the Great Lakes, on uh, clean air and clean water. We sure. shouldn't go overboard uh, and, uh, and have tremendous economic costs, but where it can be done safely and effectively, like your legislation banning sewage dumping or uh, making sure that uh, one state can't heavily pollute the air of another state, it's common sense legislation and regulation that should yeah. move forward. No question. We need to make sure that we're protecting our environment and was pleased that uh, you know, I was actually recognized as Congressional Champion of the Outdoors, which is great, but uh, we need to make sure we continue to do that, and, but we need to have, be sensible. We have stuff like Cement Mac, which again would impose regulations three to five times more stringent than Europe, which would put us at an enormous disadvantage. So there's some common sense things that we can do to still make sure we safeguard the environment. A good, a good policy for a guy who's uh, the Troop 13 Boy Scout leader <laughs> for uh, Kennel Amen.